Hey guys, what's up? Public back with another video, and today I want to do kind of a quick, hopefully quick video, although I do, I am known to, to ramble, about our Covenant abilities. We haven't seen a whole lot of iteration on them for some months now, and I think, you know, the expansion's been delayed, we have some opportunities to really fix things here, and with a pretty killer base class and spec in the Shadow Priest, having crappy Covenant abilities just kind of stinks, so let's talk about what we have right now and kind of problems that we see going into Shadowlands. Let's get started. Okay, so starting off with the Kyrian. So our ability here is Boon of the Ascended. So if you don't know, just real quickly, this basically gives you like an alternate <laughs> uh, rotation. So for 10 seconds, you become this Kyrian Shadow Priest thingy, I don't know, crazy hybrid thing where uh, you get this spammable ability called Ascended Nova. You get an ability that replaces Mind Flay called Ascend Ascended Blast on a short cooldown that does generate insanity. And then all of that's kind of accumulating together. Each one of those casts is granting you stacks of the Boon of the Ascended buff. And then at the end, depending on how many stacks you have, you kind of explode with healing and damage energy uh, to those around you. Now, this is on a three-minute cooldown. So it is the longest cooldown of all of our Covenant abilities. Um, da Damage-wise, it's okay. Uh, the problem is it really doesn't work with our rotation at all. It's, it, you know, Ascended Blast still replaces our filler and then gives it a cooldown. So you kind of are left with this awkward waiting period where, where you're like, well, what do I press? Do I press Ascended Nova? Well, no, you shouldn't because, one, Ascended Nova, you have to be in melee range to use it. I think it's like seven or eight yards or something really small. And more importantly, you, you have nothing else to press, right? That's your filler. Sure, you can want to channel Mind Seer, you could do a Mind Blast. Maybe if you're, uh, you have enough insanity, you can cast Devouring Plague or something. But not having our filler is just, just straight up terrible. I think... You know, it would be miles better if Ascended Blast just replaced Mind Blast. But then again, replacing a spell doesn't quite seem fun. The core problem is that, you know, we, we can't be in melee. And I think the spell was kind of designed to be like, oh, yeah, you're just going to spam Ascended Nova instead and it'll be fine. But unfortunately, Ascended Nova doesn't do enough damage to even be worth it on single target. I think you need like three targets at least to start using it. So on that one to two target rotation, it just doesn't work at all. It's not fun to play with at all. Uh, and again, it's a three-minute cooldown. Uh, not to mention it's very, very buggy. So the Senate Eruption right now uh, does fall-off damage. So what that means is for every target that you add, it does less damage but does still hit all those targets. Uh, the problem with that, though, is it is counting allies as enemy targets. So if you're in a raid group and you're stacked with all the melee on top of a boss, it's going to count each one of them as an, as an enemy and then do less damage which just makes it terrible. So the eruption becomes irrelevant. And then at that point, why even press the ability? Um, I don't know. It just has no interaction with our spec whatsoever. If anything, it has a negative interaction, which is why I personally don't like it. So hopefully we see some sweeping changes here. I mean, the only quick fix I can think of, honestly, is to, to buff its damage. Maybe do something with, you don't have to be in melee range of the targets. Uh, and then hopefully move the Ascended Blast to something like Mind Blast or something else. I'm not quite sure. Uh, or just scrap it. I don't know. I would love to have seen instead like Dark Archangel form or an Archangel form instead. There, All these Kyrians have wings and stuff. Shadow Priest and a various priests have had wings built into our some abilities already. I don't know why they just didn't give us like you go into this like angel form and your abilities are empowered. Where like Mind Flay extends your dots and Mind Blast hits hard. I don't know. Something, right? Uh, I, do, I, I don't like what it is right now. So hopefully we see some changes. Okay, next up we have the Necklord ability, which is Unholy Nova. This is basically just a lame duck dot uh, that is AoE. Again, a melee range ability. Completely fire and forget on a one minute cooldown. The dot lasts a very, very long time, which is one of the big problems with this. Is like, you kind of think you're like, oh, big AoE, it'll be great for Mythic Plus, all the good stuff. But in reality, when you're playing with it, like... It almost never comes off cooldown when you want it. Like, ideally, you're only using this at, like, the start of a pack. Because if you use it when mobs are all, like, kind of half dead, a lot of them will die before the dot finishes ticking, especially if you're using the conduit. And it's just, like, kind of feels bad to use. Um, I don't know. If it just did instant damage, that would be one thing. But again, very boring. It is a dot, but it has no interaction with our spec whatsoever, right? It isn't buffed by our mastery. It isn't kind of extended by the mastery, anything like that. You know, it doesn't give you a higher chance to proc Dark Thoughts because it, it is a dot. Uh, Void Torrent doesn't extend it. I mean, literally nothing about this, even though it is a dot. And where a dot spec has any interaction whatsoever, making it pretty lame. Although the, the nice part about this is it is the ability that gets in the way kind of the least. Um, it is just a one GCD to press the button and you're done every minute. So, I mean, in that regard, it's fine because it doesn't get in the way. But holy crap, why can't they give anything to this? This just feels so boring to press. Um... 
which is just really, really sad. It's a dot that could have done something interesting, but yeah. And again, you do still have to be in melee range of the ability, which is just kind of like, I don't know, just like hurt us even more as a Shadow Priest. I don't know. It wasn't, definitely doesn't feel like it was thought of from a DPS perspective, which really stinks, but that's the Necrolord ability. I really don't have much else to say other than that. It's boring and it's melee. So there you go. Okay, third up, we have the Night Fae ability, which is Fae Guardians. Now, this was recently reworked, um, but for better or for worse, between the rework and they've slapped a bunch of nerfs on our legendaries, they've nerfed Mindbender, all things have kind of gone out the window since I made my last video. Things are, for the most part, still true. This ability is either a DPS loss or just not worth pressing. It's that terrible. Um, you barely get any insanity generation from the ability from that Raffle Fairy. Um, and the other fairy that's impactful from a DPS perspective is the cooldown reduction one. So you get some seconds off of your Mindbender or your Shadow Fiend. Unfortunately, Mindbender and Shadow Fiend are both terrible cooldowns. So reducing their cooldown just doesn't mean anything. Especially Mindbender, it's our shortest cooldown. So shortening our shortest cooldown doesn't really give us much because, well, you kind of want to use it with Void Form or Power Infusion. So shortening it doesn't really help us. It actually can even hurt you. Which is for sure the case with Shadow Fiend because... Right now, the one thing Shadow Fiend has going for it is that it's a three-minute cooldown, which means it's always synced up with Void Form, and that every other Void Form, right? Because Void Form is a minute and a half, so that's nice. But because this is taking off periodic chunks of, of your Shadow Fiend cooldown, well, that's not period really great, because then in, if you want to use Shadow Fiend on cooldown, it stops being synced up with Void Form, right? Which, like, is probably a DPS loss or neither here nor there. It doesn't really matter, but obviously if you then use this to get the reduction and then hold Shadow Fiend, like what was the point of you using it to begin with? And that's literally the the, the name of the game here. From like a, a DPS throughput perspective, if you go Night Fae, you probably shouldn't use this ability, right? That's how it stands right now. Now, if you want to use it from like a support perspective to like put the CDR on someone else that maybe does get that bigger benefit and that's cool for you, great, awesome, that's there. Again, it's only 20 seconds. I don't think it's going to be that impactful to any class or spec, but... I mean, I guess we'll see. Prove me wrong. <laughs> um, but I, I, again, from a priest perspective, since it doesn't affect something like power infusion, which would be pretty neat, right? Because power infusion is a two-minute cooldown, if this reduces its cooldown to then sync up with void form, that would be really awesome because right now we are saving void eruption for power infusion right now, depending on the fight timings, of course. So I don't know. I, it's just kind of all over the place. Um, I, I just don't see a point right now at all, unfortunately. And that's just kind of where we are. So, yeah, Night Fae, Fae Guardians, it's not great, guys. Uh, this is this is by far the worst one that we have. Hopefully they change something. Okay, last but definitely not least, this is my personal favorite. Although, I, I can only say that so much, right? The Venthyr Mind Games ability is my favorite pretty much just because it's fine. It You know, not a whole lot of interaction with our spec. It is a single target ability that does hit quite hard. It does have a lot of great use cases in PvP, although obviously you guys know I'm terrible and don't do PvP, so why do I care? Um, from a rating perspective, it is the best single target, like hardest hitting ability, which is always great. Single target damage is awesome, especially for things like Prideful or other things. The damage reversal, again, is kind of whatever. Um, from our perspective, it does it's not noticeable in a large PvE raid environment. Maybe in dungeons, the tank might notice it if you're kind of in a bind. That's kind of nice, but again, that's not an interaction with our spec. It's just a a utility interaction that we have that again isn't super valuable um the insane generation also isn't guaranteed the target does have to break that shield and you don't have that long to break the shield to actually give you that insanity so it's a cast time ability that isn't even guaranteed to give you insanity which can be kind of frustrating more than anything it's not necessarily a bad thing but it's frustrating which is why this ability is just fine and the only reason it's really fine is because it does a lot of damage if it doesn't do damage then this would be terrible like everything else but I'll, I'll i'll give it a pass just because of that i wish it interacted with something um thankfully it does have a, a mastery bonus on it so it is affected while we have our dots up on the target which is something you know there is something to be said about okay i'm only going to use mind games when i have all three of my dots on a target that's something but again it's it's not that of, of a crazy interaction like we've seen with other covenant abilities for other classes and specs and again just kind of a little bit disappointing because i do love the Venthyr Covenant, I love their aesthetic, but man, their ability is just boring. I mean, what can I say? It's it's fine, though, um, and that's kind of what it is.
All right, guys, that is it for this video. Um, if you if you like what I've been saying or you agree with what I'm saying, more importantly, I've written a forum post that has it has a ton of crap in it. <laughs> I've just kind of rambled for all the things that I want to talk about. I did bring up all these covenant abilities. If, if you do enjoy that or you, you like that I'm talking about it, please give that a like on the forums. It, it'll just get better exposure to things. Give your own feedback on the forums if you've had a chance to test things out. I'm really curious, like, what do you guys think? I know I'm kind of complaining a lot right now, but I think that's... For good reason, right? I don't think any of these particularly excite me. Curious what you guys think. Am I missing something? Is there something you guys really like? I know the PvPers out there are probably screaming at me right now. But uh, again, from my perspective, from a PvE perspective, not really happy with any of these. But again, since there's such a little DPS increase, it doesn't really matter what you pick right now. So in that sense, it's okay. But I don't know. I just wish they did something more impactful to our rotations. All right, guys. Again, big thanks to all the Patreons that are supporting me. They're the ones that are making all these videos possible. So if you like that, please give a like on this video. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. And again, we will see you in the next video. Thanks.